In this video, I'll be using Rupolacy to move Windows 11 taskbar icons to the left side. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. And there is also a video about creating a VMI filter that I will be using in this video. And here you can see all the policy settings and values that I will be using in this video. And now I will begin this video by going to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policy, so I will go to Tools, Group Policy Management. I will right click on Group Policy Objects, select New. I will name the policy Windows 11 Taskbar. Then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects. I will select the policy that I created, then I will right click on it and select Edit. And I will be creating this policy for my domain user, so I will go to User Configuration, Preferences, Windows Settings, and then Registry. Then I will right click in the window here, go to New, and select a Registry Item. And as you can see here, I will be creating a Registry Item, and like I said, I have all the values that I will be using in this video in my GitHub page. For the action, I will leave it at Update for the key path. I will go back to my GitHub page, I will copy the key path that I have here. I will insert it here and for the hive I will leave it also at current user for the value name I will once again go to my github page copy this value insert it here for value type I will select d word and for value data I will enter zero and that's basically it for this registry item now I will click apply and ok now we can close this window for VMI filtering I will select windows 11 because I want this policy to apply only on Windows 11 computers. Then I will go to details and for GPU status I will select computer settings disabled because currently this policy has only user settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now after creating the policy I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the users on which I want to apply the policy. In my case the organization unit will be this one, it's called users. And it is holding all the users in my domain. So to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the policy, drag and drop it on this organization unit. Then I will click OK here. And as you can see, the policy appeared here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. And as you can see, we have the taskbar icons in the center. And that's because even though I created the policy, I didn't give it enough time to update on my client machines. So I will do it manually and for that I will go to start menu, I will type cmd, I will open it, I will type gp update, press enter and wait a bit. And as you can see the policy update was successful and as you can see in my taskbar we have all the icons on the left side. And that's basically it for this video, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.